When it comes to the mosquito fire, does look like we have some challenging fire weather conditions coming in on Saturday, but Sunday and Monday, happy to say this, looks like we have a chance for some rainfall. So we'll take a look at that, but first we'll just check out the recent numbers. Looks like we're over 67,000 acres and we're at 20% containment. Throughout the day today, we had below average temperatures and relative humidity, for the most part stayed above 40%. So that helped to moderate some of our growth, although you certainly do still see some activity on the eastern side of that fire. Overall though, great to see a lack of activity on the western side of this fire, and especially around that spot fire that threatened Forest Hill just a couple of days ago. Now, most of the activity clearly though on this eastern side, I'd say not a big surprise there because We've just had those consistent southwesterly winds that have been trying to push this fire towards the northeast every afternoon. And when we look at fire history, there's not a whole lot of fire history in here. So there's just abundant dry fuels that haven't been burned in a while. Now, some of this activity that you're seeing on the northern side, though, is actually firing operations where they've been putting fire on the ground to clear out some of the fuels so that if this fire pushes to the north, there's not as much fuel for it to continue to grow. Now that's gonna be the key area I'm watching as we move forward though, because it does look like this north side will be tested on Saturday. Now I say that because there's a system moving into California and before it brings our chance of rain, looks like it's going to be bringing some gusty winds over 30 miles per hour on Saturday afternoon. We also have drier conditions expected there. so. That's going to be the main day that I'm watching, but once we get through that and the system continues to move into California, that's where we have the chance for some rainfall. Still a bit too far out to get too excited about this, and it's not by any standards going to put out the mosquito fire or put an end to wildfire season, but if we can pick up some rainfall over the mosquito fire, that's certainly going to help things out. So I'll be watching that closely. If you want to stay updated, you can subscribe to Holt Hanley Wildfire Forecasting on YouTube.